everyone. Well, I have finally boarded the Midori bullet journaling train. Now, I've always been a note taker and um, a jotter downer and keeping a day timer. Always, always, always. I always prefer that to my phone, even though for a little while I did use my phone as my day timer, but I just, I prefer to write things down. But then when all this bullet journaling came out and the Midoris and the day planners, and the stickers and all of it, I was like, I went a little nuts. I was like, what the heck are these people talking about? So I finally sat down and devoted couple hours to watching a whole bunch of different videos and then I'm like okay I get this it was really something I was always doing and it's just a new thing now and it's actually way more fun this way so wait a minute I wanted to share my Midori with you guys a Midori or a traveler's journal or whatever you want to call it so I, this is my pencil case and excuse my hands I was just um, doing some crafts so there's paint all over them I love this pencil case I got it at Chappie's book cart uh, store. It says, think of all the beauty around you and be happy. Isn't that the prettiest? And it opens on the top. So I have all my pencils and um, pens and gel markers and whatever else and scissors and um, washi tape and all that in here. So it's always not very far from my book. Now my journal here is like a Midori. I can't say it's a real Midori because it was made for me. This was made by Artsology Deb here on YouTube as a gift to me and I love it and she stamped my name in it and it's leather. It is gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And this tag on it says the journey awakens the soul. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's not pretty. So I don't have a pen holder. Sometimes I use a uh, clip and just stick my pen in, but more times than not, I just clip it on top. I try to use a different color Sharpie for the bullet journaling, which I'll show you in just a second. And then I bought this little rabbit ball bonbon thing. I think it's a key holder. It looks like a keychain holder, but I just, I love doodaddy things. So I've got that there. And then on the elastic, that's the marker. I just put a star charm there. So that's pretty much what it looks like. This book is with me all the time. It's either in the car or usually in the mornings I put it in the kitchen on the counter because that's where I can just put stuff in and and if I don't have it with, with me the first thing I will do is um, in the notes on your phone I will um, I'll show you that a lot of people don't know where that is but hang on I'll show you just one second I will put it in the notes section on my telephone I'm just opening up my phone right now and um, and and then when I'm like right there I've got a note for a camera Canon G 7x because somebody was talking about that camera so I just put it in notes and then when I get a second in the evening I'll transfer anything that I didn't have a chance to write down into here so let's just go through it. So this, now Amadori is a book. They are created or first started in Japan. And the beauty of them is that you can have many books in one um, place, I guess. They're all combined in one place. And also, once you go through one book, you just have to replace it in the elastic. So you can always, always have this cover it will never fill up the little booklets inside well and then you just replace them that's the beauty of a Maduri. that's what i love about this and also that they can be custom made to anything you personally want i have a whole lot of booklets in here i shouldn't have this many i have six most times most people have four to five i have six in here but i need them all so it's mine right and one thing i also figured out there are no rules do whatever you want like, there's no rules. There's no Midori or Traveler Journal police. So right here I have my own dashboard, although I'm not putting anything in it. And I made this from, you know those seal -a meal bags? And uh, the, you heat them and it's like a laminator and it heats. Well, what I did is I took, I have a roll of, um, you make your own size bag, I guess. And I covered here with washi tape. I covered up where it said C 
seal a meal bag and the date and all that and I just covered it with washi tape. And then down the middle, I found the middle here and I just sealed it on the heating thing and it gave me two pockets on either side, slipped it into elastic and there you have it. And I keep it closed with one of these little clips because sometimes if I'm holding the book sideways the little cards will fall out. So that's my little dashboard I keep at the front. This first book is my month to month calendar, my year calendar with the month I'll show you. So I just, um, I made this one up actually, I printed it, then I made the cover out of cardstock and I had these little wooden things so I just glued them on. I thought they were kind of cute. And then the first thing says, a smile is a curve that sets everything straight. Today is the day, make a plan. And then I have this paper clip here that clips me to where we are. So September. So all the things I'm doing in the month. It was my brother's birthday. I got his phone number. I'm going to have to write it here. I just got it from my sister. I called him. And all the different things we've done. Went to a movie premiere last night. It's really good. And um, my little ne uh, grandson sleeping over. And today's the day for Julia's shower. And all of that. Now I, I've also clipped here to November. The reason I have these three open is because of our craft sale and I just want to keep things kind of where I can get to them if I'm talking to somebody on the phone or whatever. So these three months are kind of active, I guess you want to say. I have so many years in here. Now I got this as a printable off of Etsy and I cannot think of the name, but if I find it, I will put it in the description bar. Aren't they pretty? They printed like that. And it was one of those that does not, it's unmarked dates. So I've marked this up till December 2017 and there's still more in the back. I could go on for another year. I think I could go to 2018 in here and look how nice and thin it is. I love it. And I love the design of it and everything. So I just sat one day and filled in all of the correct dates. So they're all done. And I double checked it. I had a calendar in front of me. And I prefer a calendar that starts with Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, as opposed to Monday. My biggest mistake with the Monday start, I am so used to, like, for example, looking down this column. When you see one, two, three, four, I, I always know this is Wednesday. But on the Monday one, if you forget it started on Monday, this would be Thursday. So you get your appointments all mixed up. So I prefer a Sunday start. And she asks that. Do you want a Sunday or a Monday start on your calendar? So mine is a Sunday start. So that's that booklet. Now this one, I have a little picture of my kitties when they were little. Let's see if I get the light away from their face. There is Jessie in the oldest car seat known to mankind. And Curtis and Deanna, we were coming back from camping. So I just love this picture because it's like, make today great. Stop the glorification of busy because they're totally not busy. They are sleeping. This is my meal planner. I bought this off of, I think it was, was it Etsy? Yes, it was Etsy. And so um, I, I write everything in here in pencil because I want to be able to reuse this. So we've had company this week. So we had a family dinner on Sunday. See, this starts with the Monday. Don't like it because the Sunday's over here. We had a family dinner on Sunday. And then from that, we had leftovers. The mid pork chops. We had leftover pork chops. Then I made a chicken pot pie with the chicken. And we had that tonight. So that's Friday. So and then on this side, if I need to buy any groceries, I will buy them. So this weekend, I will set up a new... I'll check our groceries, check what we have, and set up a new meal plan for the next week. And there's quite a few months in here, and I suppose I could just, I don't really have to erase it, but if I needed to, I could, you know? This one is the bullet journal. This is what I just couldn't wrap my head around. I just didn't get it. This is my key. So if it's something to do, it has a square around it. If it's moved to the next day, it has an arrow through it. If I've started it but not finished it, it's like a diagonal line. If it's done, it's scribbled out. And if it's really important, it gets an asterisk. And if I'm no longer in dealing with it at all, I just put a line through the whole thing. So that's my key. The only reason that's there, that's for 
if somebody else happens to be doing this for me. Not so much me, but you know what I mean? So it says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. And again, got these mini clips all over. I think these are fantastic. So this is where I am at with this now. So today is Friday and I have to fill in. I will sit tonight before I go to bed and fill in all the things that I did. If I didn't do it, I will um, put a line through it, like find the chalkboard. It was a, a frame that I used to have and I found it and do a pennant for the baby shower I'm having and I didn't do that. So I will move that and sometimes I'll move things two, three, four, five days, but then eventually... They get done. Go to the dollar store. I did that. Order flowers for my neighbor who was sick. I did that. You know, there's certain things like I didn't do that. So I will move them till tomorrow, Saturday. So I do that before I go to bed. It's kind of really relaxing. So this is, that's how simple my bullet journaling is. And I love the way one lady explained it. Bullet journaling is literally dumping your mind on a piece of paper. It's a to-do list. But the beauty of this to-do list is if things don't get addressed today, they get moved. And once they're addressed like that, they get colored in. Love that. And plus it gives you a sense of accomplishment of all the things that you have. Look at this. And they're all colored in and you've done them all. So it kind of gives you that sense of, wow, even though I am home and retired, I am busy, you know? I get stuff done. Not that I need to be busy, but you know what I mean. And this one's really thick. There's tons in there. And bullet journals are usually done on this little graph paper. Although they don't have to be. Again, your own rules. This one, I picked up this little booklet, this little pamphlet here. When we were in Salt Spring Island, it was just in the, the Salt Spring Library. They have these little booklets like this. So I picked it up and it had that uh, sticker on it. I added um, the lace on. It was an old piece of lace. Actually, if you watch my art journal page and I made that tie-dye dress, this was the lace that was on that fabric. And I, it was just sitting on my desk, so I just glued it in here. This one has lists. Most of them have tabs on them, like bullets, meal plan. And it says, it's a plan. And these are just lists. Lists of... And I said, I put these listed. I love that you can use all your stuff you have in your stash that you've had for a hundred years, you know. I've had these letters, so I just glued them in. And again, you don't have to do this. It can be as plain as you want. It's just kind of fun to add all these little embellies in it, you know. So things that I order. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so bad. I am a terrible online shopper in the sense that it's not that I order a lot. It's that I forget what I order. Even yesterday, my neighbor called me, Monica, I've got two little parcels that came here for you. I'm like, what are they? And she goes, it's these little knitting kits. I'm like, really? <laughs> I mean, you know, don't, it was one of those things that if you only paid for the handling, you got the knitting kit. Here they are, they're in here. These. And so the lady had asked me how I liked it and I never got it. I said I never got it. So she sent me another one. So then I got both of them. So I'm going to give one to Deanne for crocheting. But it has every possible tool you could use and all you had to pay was the shipping and the handling. But anyway, I totally had forgotten about it. So now I have to write down everything that I order online and as soon as it comes in, I shade it in. See those ones I got, this I got. So it says things I order. That's my number one because that's Oh, I'm so bad. Craft sale items. These are things that I want to make. And then beside it, like it's got night lights, beside it I have to say what I need for that. Like I need batteries, jars, and little doodads for the top of it. So I know if I'm going out to the dollar store or something, I'll just take a picture of this. Then I have the list in my phone. So I made two pages for that. And if I need more, I'll just make more in the back. Uh, things to complete and right now it's the shower invites which I've done that so I can color that in and I'm thinking more of the shower now so it's stuff for the shower uh, here but there's also going to be other things I need to do here uh, this is books um, this is what I'm reading now this is what I want to read next and I'll, I'll keep a list of the books that I want to read this is my mom's information like her doctor the adult day program she goes to, 
where she lives now, those kind of phone numbers that I need to have. They're in my phone, but I also want them in here in the event that I'm not here or I need Richard to grab them for me and I'm not home or, you know, I just wanted to put them somewhere else. So they're in here too. So it's just on your mom. And then on the back page, I've got passwords. Oh my God. Because I'm telling you, I didn't put the usernames. I just put the passwords. I'm getting bad now. I just can't remember them. So I'm sure I'll find lists of, you know, favorite songs and all that kind of stuff. And things I'm grateful for. I just haven't put that in here. I wanted to have a bit of a journal in here. Like an actual journal. But then I thought, am I actually going to journal in here? Like, am I going to? And then I just happened to see this video. And this woman was talking about... I think it was the Happiness Project. I'm pretty sure. And she started this just a sentence a day. That's it. A sentence a day. One sentence to describe your day. And so I put volume one and I put September 2016. I just started this today because I just thought what an excellent um, way to journal. And this is why there's so many books in here because I wanted a journal in here. So my sentence for today is... One more day, the time is now, the day is here. And it's from the song One More Day from the musical Les Miserables. And then I just put a little flag there with the date 9916. And I'm just going to do that every day. Just one sentence. Be interesting what this is like when it's all done, hey? And that's something I know I will do because it's a sentence for heaven's sakes. And then this last booklet here is my inspiration. I had some things in this pocket. I took them out. I don't know why I took them out. But anyway, um, inspiration meaning whenever I think of um, something I'm going to do for my art journaling, I get all these ideas all the time. As you know, I blabber through my art journaling, but sometimes I get these thoughts and I, I have to write them somewhere. So I just write them in here and I literally I just scribble them down. And these are some that I've done. And this one is a poem I thought of, and I just write them down. And this is where I keep all of this inspiration for my art journaling, whether I'm going to videotape it or not. And then at the back here, this is an actual Midori uh, business card pocket, and it's just full of little stickers. These stickers came in the mail the other day, you know, those Christmas seal ones. I just stuck them in there. I thought I might use them. And there's tons of bazillions of stickers in here that you can use for whatever to just spruce up your little book, you know? So that is my Maduri that I use as a planner. And I will slip this back in. I thought this was just brilliant, if I do say so myself, making my own little um, dashboard out of, you know, the seal -a meal bags and just seal it down the middle and make two pockets. And it works great. And it's, oh, I've got tickets here when we went to see Gregory Porter. And then I've got the tickets in here when we went to see um, the color purple. And then kind of positive, um, these cards that I have here. It's nice to see them every time you open it. Yes, you are an amazing person. And what a wonderful day. And things like that, you know. So that's my journal. And this is with me most of the time, and I love it. And um, because I only have one hand, I can't slip this over. And it's so easy to do, and it all makes so much sense to me now. Oh, I don't know why I was getting so boggled up, especially with the bullet journaling. But now I've got that down pat. So anyway, I just wanted to share if anybody else was confused as I was. I wanted to share with you how I did it. And just like this one woman said, there are no rules. Do it however you want. But for me, the beauty of this is that I never have to lose this cover because I love it. It means so much because someone made it for me. I never have to lose this, but I can replace any of these books anytime. Whenever they get full, I can just pull it out and put another one in. So you can see how they're attached in here. And if you ever want to see how a Maduri is made, just... Um, Look it up on YouTube and they'll show you they're so easy. It's just that and an elastic and a bookmark. It's so simple. But I just love the fact that there's all these separate booklets within one book. 
So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time and happy planning. Bye. Thank you.